Alright, in the last tutorial we went over how to add a purchase button and also display the price. This is good if you have a product that just has one price and you can just direct them straight to PayPal or the checkout page with this way of doing it. When we created this product though we had a variable pricing so if you go into themes, all themes, edit, you notice that variable pricing is enabled so right now it's only showing you know the very first one which is 20 but we also have another one for a 30 dollar price range so what we want to do is allow the user to pick which one they want to use and then add it to the cart so easy digital downloads has something to help us do this if you go into advanced and then theming We can show purchase buttons in template files with edd underscore get underscore purchase underscore link. So if we click into that, read this documentation a little bit, we can use this function here to display all kinds of cool things. These are the arguments that you can pass into this function to allow you to build a pretty cool little purchase button that shows the variable prices. So we can go over all these in a second. I've built one here pretty quick and I'm going to put it into our sidebar download again. So this time I'm going to put it, make sure it's in this widget area in the column. So I'm going to put it in here and here you notice that I'm using the function exactly how it's being displayed right here you can see I have price set to false you can see here that you can accept either true or false whether to show the price in the button or not I have the download ID which we went over earlier which is just getting the post ID I have a class set and this is currently using a bootstrap button and bootstrap uh, success in the text I'm just doing add to cart so there's a couple other options you can use like direct style color so direct will you know take them exact straight to the cart or you can just have an add to cart button so I'm not using the direct right now just to show you how this feature works it's pretty cool so let's save that and reload the front end And there you go. You see that we have both variable prices showing and then this add to cart link. So I can select you know, either of them, none of them, or just a single one. So when I select one and I hit add to cart, you can see that it added to the cart and now I have a checkout button. So notice that it didn't take me directly to the shopping cart like this purchase link did. But if you like that way of doing it, you can use this direct argument and set it to true and it'll take them directly to the shopping cart. But now that I have this checkout button I can simply click checkout and it takes me to the shopping cart with the option that I picked. Pretty neat. So this way of doing it is nice if you have you know several different products and you don't want to take them directly to the cart or to the checkout page I mean and they can just keep adding things to the cart until they're ready to check out pretty much like a normal e-commerce site that you visit every day so that's pretty cool let's go back into our themes and let's disable any variable pricing just to show what it looks like so when you reload the front end see that it just has the add to cart button. When you click on that, it does its thing, and you can now go to checkout. So just the $20 option is available. So that's pretty much all you need to allow a user to add a product to the cart with variable pricing and with variable pricing disabled. You can do it several different ways. You can display the price. 
You can direct them straight to PayPal or straight to your checkout page, or you can just have them out of the cart. Easy Digital Downloads gives you several different options. With that said, I'm going to end this tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to build a page that will show all of our themes so the user can pick which theme they would like to purchase.